So, I just saw Captain America this month, and just today, I went and saw Oculus. Wow, those two movies are so different from each other. Oculus is directed by Mike Flanagan, stars Karen Gillan, Brenton Thwaites, Rory Cochrane, and Katie Sackhoff. This movie is one of the scariest movies I've seen all year, considering I haven't seen any scary movies. It's one of the scariest movies I've seen in the past two years. My scariest from then probably being when Sinister came out. This movie is about a brother and a sister who um, take a mirror from their childhood and they try to prove they go in to try and prove that this thing was responsible for their parents murder. This film's a very psychologically deep film. It doesn't really try to scare you with jump scares as as many horror movies have been doing as of late. It tries to scare you more with psychological stuff like there was definitely there was parts in this in this movie where I was sitting there and something really scary would pop out, but it would linger on the screen. It wouldn't just be there for a split second and then be gone just to scare you for like two seconds, only for it to never be remembered. And that was probably one of the best things that this film did. It had a better like sense of horror in like atmosphere and suspense and not just jump scares everywhere. To make you feel scared for a few seconds. To make you think this is a scary movie. So in this film, you have two different plot lines. One from the uh, main modern timeline in which the brother and the sister are in. And then one from 11 years ago in which the parents, in which they're little kids and they're, then they have their parents with them still. And it really did a good job at transitioning this. The only problem with this mechanic in the movie was that towards the very end, you're watching this and you get really, you can start to get really confused as to, like, if the people in the modern day are in this place that the kids were in on this day too, or if they're in a completely different place and they're just showing flashbacks at that point. So... That was probably the only problem I had with this movie. Other than that, this movie is actually not that bad. I also like the fact in this movie that the mirror could make you really see anything that it wanted to. And not this isn't really a spoiler. It's in the trailer, so uh, spoiler if you don't want to know. But uh, there's this part in which the older sister is... um screwing in light bulbs so that she can get light in these rooms and she's eating an apple at the same time and and then she starts walking away and she thinks she's just eaten out of a piece of a light bulb and she starts like spitting it out and whatnot and it's like blood everywhere then here's then her brother comes in and she looks at him she's like all freaking out and whatnot but then it goes back, and it turns out it's still the apple. Like, she never was eating the light bulb in the first place. And you're just like, wow. you Because I actually expected her to be eating the light bulb, but I'm not the apple that whole time. And I'm like, oh, this mirror is tricky, isn't it? All in all, Oculus is a really good film. I thought it was, it's been, it's one of the best horror movies I've seen ever since Sinister came out all the way back. I think it was 2012 or something like that. So I'm going to give Oculus a 3 and 3 fourths heart out of 5. I, it's a good movie. I recommend seeing it in theaters. And if you want to wait till DVD, that's fine too. But it definitely was not. It was definitely one of the best horror movies I've seen in a long time. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you can subscribe to my channel. Any comments, I would be happy to read, and I am 